Hey, 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 what's up, Facebook? This is China McCoy. Um, the internet has been lighting up over Michelle Rodriguez's statement. And this is something I always said. You don't have to apologize for something that you said because you meant it when you said it. To apologize and say, well, I meant to say this, then why didn't you just say that at first? So first of all, I get her point which is create your own um, that I understand but you have to dissect things before you say it before you say create your own you yourself need to do your homework because there are many people out here who have their own and because you're only on the right side with all the Caucasians you're not seeing what we do and if you are seeing what we do, you don't acknowledge what we do. For example, you said the diversity thing in Hollywood, like it's just such a burden on you. You should be thankful as a Latina that you're able to work and become famous as you have in your career. So you should appreciate the love that you've been getting. Second of all, stealing white superhero roles. How can we steal white superhero roles? You think we just run up in there with baseball bats and pistols and guns and, and we get the whole gangs together and we just go in, in Marvel Studios and Sony and we just be like, you better give us this role or niggas is going to die. You motherfuckers is going to get, you know, we don't do that. It belongs to the Caucasians. So what they do is they hire us to shut up the NAACP for black economics and so, you know, affirmative action won't come down on them. So it's like, yeah, put a black person in that role so we won't hear any more complaining. You know what I'm saying? But your apology, which was just job bullshit, that's just out the window. But the point you made after that, you know, we should create our own anthologies and mythologies or whatever uh, that's happening. Then you are misinformed or you just or unknowledgeable about the world that exists um, as far as diverse comic creators. Here we go. Dwayne Glenn McDuffie. I don't know if you know him, but I'm gonna enlighten you to who he is. He died in 2011. He was an American writer, an African-American writer for comic books and television, known for creating the animated television series Static Shop, which is an African-American character, and producing the animated series Justice League Unlimited, and Ben 10, I'm sure you remember that show, and co-founding the pioneering minority-owned and operated comic book company, Milestone Media. Look it up, Michelle. McDuffie earned three Eisner Award nominations for his works in comics. But if you knew that, you wouldn't have made that statement. Let's go on to another friend of mine, Christian Hall. Second Coming Comics. Look him up on Facebook. Christian Hall is an African-American comic creator and owns his own comic company. He just created a character called Shiver. Kirk is a beast. Let me pull it up, see if I can show it to the public. Okay, if y'all can see that. Look at that. That is a monster. You have another friend of mine. Uh, well, not not this time. I'm not going to get to him yet. But let's go to Peep Game Comics because this is something Michelle needs to do. She needs to peep game and stop talking so much. Peep Game Comics is a digital comic platform dedicated to the works of African-American creators, authors, artists, publishers. We want to do our part in educating African-American comic book fans about the wealth of creative work by our people. You know, so it looks like we're pretty much doing the damn thing. Um, so I'm not understanding the whole we need to do our own and we're not doing enough uh, of, of we're not doing enough work, so to speak. Or we don't create our own. My brother in arms, Jay Reed, Style Universal. Look him up on Facebook, Jay Reed. Content with chaos. See that? He actually has his own comic book out as we speak. Michelle, you need to look him up. Content with Chaos. 
fantastic artist. Great. He just did uh, works for me on Bane. And so you can see some of his, just some of his stuff. Let's see if I can just pull something up real quick. This is just him just, as you can notice that character right there is African American. Right? That's just some of his work. Uh, let's see what else. China McCoy. Bane Legacy Apocalypse. My company, Silver Axe Comics. Yeah, there you go. Let's show you a little bit of my comics. Oh, there you go. That's a nice little glitch there for you. Yeah, that's my comic book, Bane Legacy. You should look it up. Here's the cover if you'd like to see the cover. As you can see, African American. Uh, we have Ozzy Martin, Latino. Look up his comic, Stain. Go to Facebook, Ozzy Martin. Look up his comic book. Kevin Grievix, avid comic man. Um, as you know, he wrote and did Underworld. He's an African-American man. You can look him up on Wiki. He has great, great work. And you should check him out, Michelle. Uh, you picked out... Hey, let me pull something up. There we go. Clearly, that character is African-American. Kevin Grievix. Kevin Grievix has skill for days. Yeah, and that and that art was done by Dario. So we we have to choose our words more wisely. I respect your point as far as uh, creating our own mythology and anthology, but it's it's not us, Michelle. It's the people who hire you. Hey, let me show you another one of Kevin's characters. Clearly, that character is African American. So, my point I'm trying to make here is, the point I'm trying to make here is, so you can understand, not only choose your words carefully, but do your homework. We have Google, we have Wiki, we have a vast universe in the internet of uh, African American and Latin and Bollywood comic creators. We even have creators from Thailand, uh, Philippines. I have a, a guy from the Philippines. His name is Very Wong. Awesome. Awesome artist. And let me see if I can do this real quick. I'm trying to make this video as fast as possible. Just so... Um... But he's out of the Philippines. And they have their own work. And their own comics. He did a, a picture for me. For my Bane character. Look at that. Philippines. This artwork is out of the Philippines. They have Filipino comic books. Comic books in Thailand. So you have people from Thai. Uh, Korea. Japan. Manga from Japan. Who's created their own work. Uh, another artist. Uh, Leo. Or Leonardo Massive. He has his own comic book. And he's an artist as well. This is his work. Clearly, that's an African-American character. Look him up on Facebook. So there are a lot of us out there with our own work, Michelle. So if you just take five seconds and come to the other side where your people are of diversity, then you can see that we have our own mythologies, anthologies. We have our own independent companies. Uh, we have everything. And a true story. I went in to Lionsgate. Also had a meeting with Warner Brothers. Uh, and it always seems to end the same. And that's just, I just named two. But every time I went in to pitch my Bane character to these execs, you know what they say? Well, what Caucasian uh, lead can we put in these roles? So you want to take clearly an African-American superhero well-written, thought-out comic, and you want to clutter it with Caucasians. And then you say that we're stealing white superhero roles? No, it's more the other way around. They take what we have, and then they make it to wherever they want to make it. And if you think about it, Michelle, Marvel is Caucasian. 
Sony Studios, it's all Caucasian. Hollywood is Caucasian owned. So how are we actually stealing these roles? Please tell me. So anyway, I told you about Peep Game Comics. Michelle Rodriguez, Peep Game.